In this video, I'll show you how to best use Mineru in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. You can walk on lava, improve fling, and even do a moonwalk. So be sure you watch this video all the way to the finish, and let's get started! So we all know in World Quest that we can launch the Mineru with a rocket. But did you know that we can also glide with our Mineru? Yes, we can glide with Mineru by attaching a wing to it. Look at how awesome it is. Wait, wait. Let me see if I can go to the island. I've got another fantastic item to fuse to the Mineru. A hot air balloon. It's different from a wing, so instead of flying, it can only be used to land gently. But this is what I call a landing with flare. Do you think it's cool? Just wait till you see this. So if you fuse the hoverstone to Mineru, you can become king of pop in a moment. Yeah, you can perform a moonwalk. Anyway, you can see Stalis while landing slowly. Have you ever thought about it? I don't believe so. If you're in a hurry and need to go somewhere quickly, you can use this strategy. Simply attach a fan to the Mineru and it may make it run like a ninja. Aside from that, Mineru can walk across extreme terrain, such as on lava as shown in the video. Not only that, but it can walk through mud, quicksand, and freezing water. The crucial thing to remember is that you can only walk in shallow depth. Do you know that you can actually jump on the Mineru without pressing A button? You can just simply jump to the Mineru. This way, you'll know that Mineru has a huge contribution to make Ling look taller. Speaking of tall, we have to use this advantage for something. For example, like picking apples. This way you can easily farm apples without any difficulties. Last but not least, you can use Mineru to shoot an arrow on top of it so you will have an advantage of range attack. See? Who said Mineru was useless? So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please press like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming content. See you in the next video. Bye!